Hello, I'm Epia Exoslick and welcome back to so our Minecraft video. Today we're going to talk about Minecraft betas because a lot of people will tell you, especially if they've been playing since 2010 or 2011, that Minecraft used to be so much better back in the alpha or back in the beta phase of the game. They'll tell you they used to love Minecraft so much and, uh, you know, it's lost some of its charm these days, but the truth is, is people have this opinion about every single game. People used to love games and now they don't anymore and they think it's the game that's changed when really it's themselves, but the truth is, Minecraft beta kind of does have a lot of things that are charming that don't exist in the current version of Minecraft. There's a part of me that really does agree that Minecraft Beta 1.3 is the best version of all time because it's when I started playing. I started playing, uh, my friend was like, give this game a try, I said it was stupid, and I started playing it. I started liking it a little, then I started liking it a lot, then I started loving it, and that night I didn't sleep, I played Minecraft the entire night, I drank Mountain Dew as well, uh, if you want to know how I stayed up, but I played Minecraft and I was that enthralled by it. And the reason I was enthralled is because of so many different systems that have changed today and that in my opinion aren't as good. So today, we're talking about Minecraft Beta 1.3, the things that changed since then to now, and how they arguably are better, because as soon as you load in, you'll see the first one, the fact that the world generation is so wildly different and looks so much better. A part of me, and I think a part of everyone, really enjoys this so much better than the current game, right? So how is it that Minecraft over seven years has gotten worse, right? That's the question we'll be asking in today's video. And although the simple answer is it hasn't, let's uh, you know go a bit more complex than that. So as always, uh, if you wanna like the video, it's a cool thing you can do uh, you know to help out the channel or whatever but if you don't let's get straight into the first thing which is gonna be again exactly the world generation because of all the things you can compliment about old Minecraft there's uh, you know things like the way old mob logic used to work you know they used to have very different oh you see that uh, but <laughs> they used to have very different uh, you know behaviors which was much more simplistic I would say uh, there's also different uh, you know textures on blocks so even though stuff like wood it's pretty familiar it's stayed the same throughout pretty much all of Minecraft it's very very mildly different I believe but uh, you know this this is pretty much the same the sand is the same and the grass is mildly different colored there's a few blocks which are again wildly different and which people preferred back in their old form so today we'll be kind of diving through those one by one first of all and i'm going to be reliving my old minecraft 1.3 dreams because that's why i wanted to do this evening i wanted to give a real shot to my old stuff and i figure since we've got a good world loading already let's start a house on top of that mountain to do those things because i want to experience some old caving or modern day caving as it's known <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the things, but I, I want to experience everything a little bit, so let's dive into it. By the way, some of the other things that people are also just as nostalgic about, I would say, are things like the health bar, which never goes down. There's no, you know, hunger system you got to keep track of. Uh, and also the armor system is the same. There's the uh, armor is all the same, except it has different durabilities. It's a much simpler system in some ways, and a lot of people did like that. But yeah, you can see, look how much simpler the cow AI is. It's like, oh, all you have to do is punch it and it stays in place. It doesn't do this crazy spinning thing, like would happen probably in real life if you punched a cow. It was much easier, it was much calmer, and there was a much simpler flow to it. And I think the same thing is true for what kind of defines the world generation, right? It's a much, uh, you know, simpler and put together thing. All you have to do is, uh, you know, go like a solid 100 blocks and you found a whole new set of biomes. There aren't anywhere nearly as many biomes, which means that every world kind of felt the same and everyone has the same shared experience of what a good Minecraft world could have been. Uh, by the way, I can't actually use these blocks because you couldn't make beds with uh, dyes back then, but that's, we're, we're gonna dive into like the things that have changed 100% for the better, like <laughs> being able to make a bed out of actual different colored walls, but uh, yeah, for now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the top of this mountain with our wool, our pork chops, and we're gonna try and settle down. Oh, here's here's another funny one of just like, uh, you, you, you wouldn't even figure this was the case, but it really is. So, you know, you might think, oh yeah, so one of the things I love about early Minecraft is it was just much simpler. These these brand new tree types, they're so much, you know, they're, they're wonderful. It's like, you only have two types of wood to deal with. There's birch, there's, uh, and then there's, uh, you know, regular oak wood. It's so much simpler, right? However, the interesting thing about uh, birch wood, when you actually do take it, is you've got, okay, you've got some birch wood here. You take the birch wood and you craft it. What do you get? You get wooden planks because there was no birch planks back then. There were different types of wood, but they all gave you the same end ingredient, which in my opinion is just a little bit hilarious, right? Uh, also, breaking your expectation a little bit is one, look at the size of this inventory menu. We'll come into that again later. But it's, it's also the fact that it's accessed using the I button, I being inventory, which again, it's just different to what you're expecting. So everything's just a little bit off about it. But yeah, look at the view. Everything the light touches is mine, which in this version of Minecraft isn't very much. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm about to get my first ever crafting experience and the crazy thing about crafting back in this
this version of Minecraft, it's how it's exactly the same as it is today. The funny, the funny thing is, even though there's a lot of things that people say, you know, they're so much better in their old form, there's also a lot of things that people love back in their, you know, old form that have stayed exactly the same pretty much to the current Minecraft day. Obviously, if you play Minecraft Bedrock, there's the whole suggestion screen and Minecraft console's a bit different too. But anyone who still plays, you know, Java version or plays with the same kind of UI, it's like, oh yeah, it's exactly the same. The same way uh, that you would get a wooden axe uh, back then is the exact same way today. The same way you get a wooden, you know, a pickaxe, the, you know, the very basics, the starting of the game, it's all the same. And when you combine that with the stuff that has, uh, you know, gotten arguably worse in some ways, like the world generation, which has changed, not for the better or for the worse really, but it's changed in like a sideways kind of way, you can see where people get their opinions from. Also, I guess clouds didn't move and therefore there's just a cloud here and not a cloud. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a weird one I didn't even know about actually. Oh no, the clouds are on the move again. That, that's a thing they can do. <laughs> it looks super, super strange because they're just white boxes. I mean, I know they're white boxes now, but like seeing them back then, they're even more of just weird white boxes. White boxes, which by the way, cannot be turned off. That's not an option we have, it's worth mentioning. So, <laughs> but again, we'll, we'll dive into more of those settings in just a little bit. But it's just one of those funny, like, okay, there's big white, weird, tr semi transparent boxes that you can't get rid of. So, as well as the much nicer world generation in Minecraft, which you're gonna see, or the much different, again, but people will prefer the older system, and it does have a lot of benefits. Uh, the other part of the atmosphere that people really love, that's not the literal atmosphere, is the music in old Minecraft. So, the old Minecraft music is still mostly in there to this day, but it plays much less frequently. There are much more tracks, many more tracks, therefore each individual track shows up a significantly less time. Whereas, back then, there were just a few simple tracks, and there's like a few bits of Minecraft music, all of which is pretty iconic. All of it follows the same kind of beat of being like, it's just some dude on his piano, C418, but like, this evokes memories in people. When you go back and you play old beta versions of Minecraft, you're struck by this, and you're struck by all of the memories of playing it back then, as well as like, I. Seriously, if, if you haven't ever listened to, you know, just the Minecraft soundtrack sometime, it's it's weird how any soundtrack from any part of your past will play, play back not only the memories of the game, the fond memories I had over that long night, but also the memories of the time. I was a much younger person in 2011. Fun fact, you were probably a much younger person in 2011 too, or 2010 even. Uh, you know, eight years ago, uh, you know, I, I was barely even the same person. Like, what, uh, if I'm 23 now, that means I'd be 15. What is a 15-year-old? No, like, what, what did I know about anything? And it's, uh... It's crazy to be reminded. That's that's what music kind of does. It like stores past you emotionally, and that's a thing that people love about this. Another thing people love that isn't uh, seeing the past emotional version of themselves, which is great by itself, is the old block textures. So this is something I think you can appreciate regardless of whether you played old Minecraft or not. But there's a lot of different block textures from this version of the game, which a lot of people like or hate. So for instance, look at the pork chop right here. There's a part of you that might be like, oh, that's kind of cool actually. And there's a part of you that says, oh, that looks kind of lame. But you know, because the part of you that might, might think it's cooler is like, oh, it's retro. Look at that. I just ate a pork chop. Look how crazy that is. Or the cobblestone. I personally do think the cobblestone is much better. Again, I think it's like old me thinking because obviously back then that's all I would build with. That's all I had to build with because, you know, when you first start playing Minecraft, you, you don't, you know, get hard resources. It's a lot of effort. When you're just playing over one long night, you don't get that. So gravel's another one where like it just looks better than versus now. You know, as a, as the, you know, president of the gravel hating club, I love uh, the new gravel. So already we've gone through like four much better different things, right? Like there's the mob. Uh, you know, AI, which is different. There's the, uh, you know, the, there's the new world gen or the different world generation, which is just stunning to look at. There's the music, which plays in a more frequent, more consistent kind of basis to give you that nostalgia, that connection with your past year. There's different block textures, which I, again, I, I'm sure a lot of you looking at those, some of you might, you know, prefer the old ones, some of you might prefer the new ones, but a lot, I, I think the majority of people would say, actually, yeah, I, why, why did they change it? What's the deal with that? And there's even some usability stuff. Like some stuff was easier back then. Look at me right now. No shears required. I just got seven. Oh, actually, I'm probably gonna end all nine, right? Yeah, I got nine wool from all those sheep. No shears required. I'm ready to make a bed now if I want to. Isn't that crazy? So as we watch the sun finally set together, I want to mention that yeah, Minecraft is obviously a game which has touched many people's hearts in many different ways. You can say, oh, that's that's silly. Why would anyone like Minecraft so much? It's just a block building game. But I mean, if you're that type of person, why, why would you watch this front stuff about Minecraft betas? But you know, like if, if you are that sort of person, the truth is everyone has a game that means something to them. Every piece of media means something to you. And in the same way that music, you know, from like, for instance, uh, you know, any music from my childhood will get me going and be like, wow, that's it's been so long since I listened to that. Oh, I listened to this after my first breakup or my first rejection or whatever it may have been.
In the same way, Minecraft is going to link into a lot of feelings for people that have been playing it all that time. And uh, yeah, I feel like the sunset was the best point to pr uh, go through that. Like every piece of media has a connection to in some way. That's why people love Minecraft beta because there are lots of things that are different that you can point to as being the real source. But I think the real thing in the same way, the sunset isn't beautiful because the sunset's beautiful. The sunset's beautiful because you can look at it and you can say, wow, that's a nice sunset. It's, it's you know, it, but really it's about the enjoyment on the inside not about the sunset itself. Oh my god, I forgot how much I hated that. <laughs> Back in the day, creeper explosions were so much more fun. You wouldn't even know they're coming. They just they just appear. You just <laughs> just just made that perfect metal in my opinion. That that pretty nice melancholy point about how how nostalgia and linking things are. And then you're reminded of your first creeper explosion. Also look at the skeletons. They're different. That's, that's exciting and different. They can they can even attack each other. Look at this. First ever skeleton fight. You want to see two skeletons fight? Who do you think is going to win? It's the one who's... T so as I try to get back to my old Minecraft body, one of the things about my first ever night in Minecraft, playing with a couple of friends and them telling me about like, okay, watch out for the night in Minecraft. And I was like, why should I watch out? Because when you look around Minecraft at night, there's not much you'll see at first, but every now and then you'll find one of these guys, right? I'm sure you're all familiar with these guys by now. But all my friends told me was like, you don't want to go out on night because there's going to be some big green d monsters and you don't want them anywhere near you. And I was like, what green d monsters? Um, oh no! <laughs> and uh, I, I just, oh my god, go around. And it's like, wait, what, 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 what is that all about? That, 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 you know, he's got to be exaggerating or something. And then you see these guys for the first time and you're like, why do I need to care about them? They just look like a weird face. And then obviously we all have our first moment where we first experience uh, what they actually do, as you're going to see with this one right here, which is hopefully, oh, they, Fun fact, creepers, when they explode in water, used to deal damage. That's that's a nice thing to find out like this. <laughs> so while I try and find my stuff, a, a quick little fun story for you maybe too, uh, about the whole nostalgia media thing, is I actually have like this big soft spot, not in my heart, not only for the, uh, the Digimon movie itself, which sounds ridiculous, but for the Digimon movie soundtrack, and again, that sounds so crazy, but like, uh, my first ever like long-term girlfriend and I, like the first thing we did, like our first like date or whatever you want to call it, was watching the Digimon movie as like, a, oh yeah, that vague movie that no one knows because everyone only knows Pokemon. And uh, yeah, there you go. Like whenever, every time I listen to it, I'm like fondly reminded of uh, you know all the the weird things like that. And it's weird, you know. Try if you have, if you've never gone back and listened to some emotional music from your past, you might enjoy it. Also, it looks like when creepers exploded on you back then, they'd also explode on all your stuff. So of all the things they used to have, I just have an axe and some, and one bit of grey wool and two bits of leather. That's, that's nice. Craft used to be a lot darker back then, except around lava pools, of course, which is much, much brighter just by comparison. But yeah, it would be, uh, you know, while I'm mentioning texture changes, of course I'd be missing a beat if I didn't know, <laughs> didn't mention the biggest texture change of all, the most loved old texture, which is Minecraft Beta Lava. This is still used to this day in Minecraft Bedrock. And in my opinion, it's just the best lava texture. It looks way better than what we have right now. It looks like lava. It's super spooky. It's great. And you know, it's so great. It's made the sun rise so we can go and actually work on that house a bit more. So I've gone over all of the upsides of Minecraft beta versus the current versions. And it seems pretty favorable, right? Like, why would you not want to play uh, Minecraft beta? It seems like such a great version because of all those things. Uh, but the thing is, all of those reasons that you look for the nostalgia, all those reasons you look back and you love, doesn't mean that, you know, the past was so much better. You know, 2010 was not a better year than right now. Uh, your first relationship is not better than your current one, even if you have nostalgia about it. And, uh, you know, to kind of prove that point, let's talk about the negatives. So first of all, let's just talk about ease of life, quality of life, and all of the usability stuff, because it was all significantly worse back then. First of all, if you want to do something like, you know, press multiple sticks, say, down, you have to press each one individually. You can't just, like in modern versions, where you can hold down the stick and then have it appear there. If you hold down, I'm holding down right uh, click right now, you have to individually press every single time. There's there's none of this like easy stuff. You have to manually click each one, which is a small thing you might think, but like when you keep in mind that that's as well as the fact that shift clicking was not a thing, everything has to be manually clicked in and out. You can click half a stack still, but that's about the only usable change. Everything has to manually go into the place that you want it, which gets a little bit frustrating after a while. Also, the GUI, you might notice like it looks really big in this video. Why is it so all consuming? Because there's no GUI scale. There's no option in the menus where you can be like, I'd like to have that be smaller. At least maybe I'm doing <laughs> As far as I'm aware, there is no option. I mean, there's just video settings, controls, where obviously there's 10 buttons enabled, like uh, fog, which by the way is the weirdest option uh, to have on. Like, as you can see, here's Minecraft with fog. Here's it without fog. Oh, here's Minecraft with no fog. 
Here's Minecraft, a little fog, medium fog, lots of fog, and the only reason to do this is to conserve thing, and also, I guess if you want to pretend that Minecraft's foggy, you can, but it just looks super strange, right? We can all agree on that. So, yeah, uh, basically, Minecraft used to have very limited options, you used to be able to do pretty much nothing. There's fancy, and there's non-fancy, and there's far, normal, and short, and then tiny. Tiny is basically the fog thing again. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, basically, uh, Minecraft used to have, like, so bear in mind, this is the furthest you can see in, uh, back then Minecraft. It's about 12 chunks of modern day distance, so you can see very little, and your GUI scale is fixed at this very large scale, you know, size. Like, to me, this is a bit too big. It's about, like, the console regular size, and it's fine, but it's also, it, it just feels super weird. So, yeah, things used to be weird back then. Uh, you also used to be able to not, like, hold down a stack. If you want to, like, get rid of a whole stack of, say, uh, you know, like, uh, these trees right here, like on Bedrock, you have to press it individually each time. It's just objectively worse. Quality of life, significantly down. A lot of things are worse, but if you can forgive that, then you'll bear in mind that recipes like this one, all I, uh, as you can see, I've, uh, I used seven st uh, ladder sticks right there, and all I get is one ladder. Same with doors, I got one wooden door, this isn't like I've just used one. A lot of recipes were a lot less, sting uh, were a lot stingier back then, uh, because, you know, over time they realized it makes sense to get two or three doors from using so many wood, but back then, it's like, no, you get, you get your one wooden door full of this, so my house is beautiful right here, as you can see, but, you know, still, only one thing back then, super, super strange. Also, look at the door. This is a problem to this day, I know. But, like, the hinges, they go from being on the left of the door to being on the, like, the left. Actually, wait. That, that actually does make sense. No, they're, they're on the right here, but then they, they go to the left. Like, do you see that? How do the hinges move? That's not how hinges work. So there are obviously significantly fewer blocks as well. Because there are less biomes, you're going to have less trees, for example. And the trees you do find, the three different types, uh, that's all that existed. Uh, all three types of trees give you the same type of oak planks, so that's a thing. But like just in general, there are so many fewer blocks. Concrete, obviously not in the game. Terracotta, obviously not in the game. Stained glass, obviously not in the game. All the different plant life, obviously not in the game. Mesa blocks, obviously not in the game. You can endlessly go on and on and on about the blocks that aren't in the game, because there was less than 100 blocks, fewer than 100 blocks uh, right, uh, back then, as opposed to the current game, which has somewhere in the region of three to 500, depending on what you're counting, the game just had significantly less content. And it seems like a small thing on the surface, but then you begin to think like, oh, all these builds that I want to make wouldn't have been possible. Also, uh, a lot of mechanics, such as boats, for instance, they existed back then, but in a hugely different form. Seriously, this is how boats used to be. It's kind of weird to think about in this way, but as you can see, that the boat was much slower to pick up momentum. I believe it picked up more momentum in the end, but still, this feels weird, it feels janky, it feels a bit out there. Also, by the way, there's no first person, third person, there's just this, there's that, there's no looking at my face. So who knows what Steve's faces look like? It could be, it could be anything back there. He could be sad, he could be happy, he could be, you know, like, flipping me. Who knows what he's done? We don't know for sure, because all we can see is this. So, uh, yeah, lots of mechanics exist in the, oh, by the way, and also, it was steered by, like, moving your mouse right and left. Like, it could only go forwards, really. In the, it's weird stuff. It's super, super weird stuff. And it's also, look look how horrifically slow this is. Uh, obviously, the boats had, like, uh, were near unbreakable back then, which is cool on the outside, but, like, was that near it really necessary? No. It's the same with fishing. It's the same with pretty much any major mechanic. If you look at any major mechanic that aren't the five or six examples we mentioned at the start of the video, they're all significantly worse. Uh, the fact that when you kill a cow, for instance, you might have noticed earlier, we killed a cow and we got two leather, but no beef. That's a bit odd, right? What? No, sure. Oh, by the way, the... I guess they weren't invincible back then, but <laughs> that that was the impact that was uh, required to crash it. So you kill a cow every single time and you're like, oh yeah, but surely you do enough times and you're gonna get some beef, right? No, there was no beef back in this version. It was just, uh, you know, leather you got from killing them. And same with sheep, you just get, you know, wool from punching them the first time, nothing after that. There's so many weird different changes where like, you know, killing zombies didn't give you food, you just got feathers off all things. So many changes just didn't make sense and you know, it's hard to love a change like that. It's just like, oh, that's kind of weird. So many of the things that have happened since in, in the last seven years have been just making the game slightly, slowly, slightly better. By the way, let's, let's get some leather boots which look bizarrely different, couldn't be dyed and had the, if we put them on right there, had the very uh, nice effect of giving you more armor than they do today. So look at this. Also, your armor count would go down as your armor got damaged. So you had to keep your armor in pristine condition the entire time. Ooh. Seriously, look at that. Do you see that? My armor just went down by half a, half a rating. And you might think, oh, is that going to heal back? It's not going to heal back. Do the same again. Ooh. Oh, and oh, wait, actually, it's, 
I guess it only went down the first bit. We have to go a significant bit higher. But still, my armor just got damaged be because I hit. That I took one hit with it. And yeah, uh, the list of complaints you can make is kind of endless in this regard. Like, yeah, there's a lot of great things, but there's also a lot of things that don't work. Like, you can't grow bone miller grass. You can't, uh, you know, do so many different things. Because let's be honest, uh, you know, creative mode, by the way. So if, like, we're playing survival, not out of like, uh, oh yeah, this is a fun video where we just run around aimlessly, you know, walking at this speed. Which, by the way, there's no sprinting and there's no other things. Uh, it's just like, oh yeah, there is no creative mode. This is the only option Minecraft had. So there, there are a few things that Minecraft Beta did different and arguably better. I, again, it's very much arguable. I would say Minecraft developers definitely don't think it is better. Um, but when you compare that to the list, the endless list of things that are better in you know, modern day Minecraft uh, compared to Beta Minecraft, it's like, yeah, that's the reason that you don't go back and play it. It's fun for the nostalgia hit. It's fun to see those changes. It's fun to check out this lava and be like, wow, look how much better it looked and like oh look it really burns things in a, in a different way but um <laughs> it, it bounced there but uh the, the the interesting reality is is that yeah minecraft changed mostly for the better though unlike any other games where if you go back to the earliest days of the multiplayer you know let pick, pick a different game that's out right now like fortnite for instance you go back to the early days and you're like oh it was so much better, better back then it was simpler and stuff but and simpler in a multiplayer game kind of makes sense but in a single player game where it's just all about what you can do to the world, having more options isn't a bad thing. Having a bigger world, which will contain something like this eventually, it's just fewer and far in between, uh, further in between. Uh, you know, hating simple, uh, th there's a beauty to simple, but there's also a beauty to complex that a lot of people really understate. And that is because, like I said, people love nostalgia, people fall in love with different things at different times. And uh, yeah, the simple answer to why people love Minecraft Alpha or Minecraft Beta more than the current version is because, yeah, they, they fell in love with it back then and a part of your love is always attached to the time and the moment of the thing. Uh, it, it's just like, you know, it, it's the it's the honeymoon phase, right? Yeah, you, you always love something a little bit more at the start than you do anywhere else. It doesn't mean that it gets worse. It just means that you get more used to it. Humans, we're all about like kind of acclimatizing to different levels. Of, let, let's watch another sunset, by the way. We're all about acclimatizing to different levels of comfort, love, all these different things. And as soon as you acclimatize something, it's still there. It's still important. That's still amazing that you feel anything. But you're always seeking the next high. That's why people say chasing the dragon or whatever. I think that's actually about doing drugs. But <laughs> people are always chasing the dragon, chasing the next thing. Because as soon as you do something, you'd figure it'd be done. Like, oh, as soon as you've climbed the tallest mountain in the world, like, you, you've, you've, you've done a thing. Or, like, as soon as you've made a billion, what else do you need to do in life? But it's like, why don't I t uh, climb the tallest mountain in less than two hours? Or why don't I make two billion? Why don't I try and become the richest man on earth like Jeff Bezos just became? That's what it's all about. And that's not a bad thing. That's human nature. And it's how we get a lot of the craziest and most impressive things uh, done, I would say. Uh, yeah, and it's also, I mean, I guess not just a billionaire flip, so there's, there's that now. Uh, and it's been designed by different people. It's a, it's a whole different thing. But yeah, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. You saw old Minecraft, what it was really uh, meant to be. If you did like it, please do like the video and let me know that you did because it helps out the channel a lot. lets me feel real good about myself. Share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here. Send me videos like this one every single day on my channel and if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you very much for watching and I, 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 I want to die. Goodbye.